Faceless folk like me do not expect much from this new land or ask for much more than the taste of honey, fresh warm bread, marmite, a cup of tea. My needs are simple, warm food on a cold day, tea sailing down my throat, warmth in my chest, a hug, a prayer, a new summer rose, sunrise bursting through metal railings, the smell of spring and melted chocolate and fresh warm bread on a kitchen counter. Birds chirping, children playing around, loud laughter, a sliver of sun, sunrises and sunsets, classical music, a big family home, perfume that takes you places. These are my comforts. I have made some friends since my arrival. To be precise, it's only been the one. She's all the good things I've mentioned that make me forgive life's cruelty. She makes this new place home. Her name? Her name is Compassion. She is discreet, hides in the little things, under the cloak of tenderness. She seems meek and gentle, but she's stronger than you think. She's comforting, like an angel, a touch of love in a hostile place. She's loud, like seagulls by the sea. She smells of peace, of roses of warm sand and freshly cut grass, of spring and cherry blossoms and a hot homemade soup. She's the big house I lost, the big house I need, that I'm yet to find. Her hair is velvety and smells of my childhood memories and my mother's breast. She's a blanket that hugs me in my sleep. She is courageous and passionate. She is my window to sunny days. She kept me sane, you know. She held my hand when no one else did and let me back to me.